So here, Bobby, is an example of that capillary action I was talking about. The water just wicks along this edge on its own power. So it runs off the door, hits the threshold, it wicks along this rubber gasket, and also this gasket is a U-shape, and the water gets in there, and it fills up that gasket, and it also travels down to the end, it hits the wood, I don't know if this is in focus. Uh, it hits the wood, which is a wooden dam, and it also hits the little air seal that is supposed to be up there. But I took it out because the water was being sucked up into that as well, and I could squeeze water out of this um, air seal thing, the, the, uh, the air stop. So I took that out to kind of isolate the... Uh, the problem and where the water was coming in so it drips down the door the um, the flashing right here the uh, the drip cap whatever we call that I forgot but uh, you know it doesn't stick out past this very far and then the water goes into this channel and also wicks along this area so that water right now is coming from a straw's worth of water. Where am I? There I am. A straw's width, uh, worth of water. So once water's already in there, the next drip of water or rain water, it also just loves to travel down that path. And right in to the door, right in to that sponge, the air seal, and it hits the wood. And it doesn't stop with the wood, it goes right on past, the wood absorbs it, the paint gets soft, and then it goes right into my house. So. Like I said on one of the other videos, I'm hoping to figure this out with you so I can put my flooring down.